In this video, we're going to keep looking at long addition, and we're going to add numbers that take us into the teens. So what if I had nine chips? So I'm going to copy this chip. Let's say it's a little chip, like a potato chip, a pink potato chip, and I had nine of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine. So I have nine chips. Now, what's fun about adding is that you're just regrouping stuff. So if I want to add another chip, right, let's say I want to add this chip, that's nine plus one, which is ten. Now I have ten chips, and then if I want to add another chip, I drag it over and I have eleven chips. And then another chip, I have twelve chips. And you see what's happening. Every time I'm adding one more, my total goes up by one. And how do we show that in long addition? Well, let's go back to our original 9. So if I want to say 9 plus something, all right, 9, and then plus, well, let's add 1 to it. What we said before was that is that is equal to 10. And 10 is 0 1s and 1 10. And we can draw our 10th chip in there. OK, well, what about if I want to add 9 plus 2? Okay, well, 2 is like what we had here, 9 and 1, and then another 1. So 9 plus 2 is really 9 plus 1, plus 1. So we had another chip. And well, before we had 10, so now we have 11. And 11 is 1, 10, which is what we had before, and then 1 more. So 11 is like 1, 10 and 1, 1. Cool. So we keep going. What about 9 plus 3? Okay. Well, the way I think about 9 plus 3 is I think, well, what was 9 plus 2? Oh, that was 11. So 9 plus 3 should be 1 more. Why? Because, well, 3 is 1 more than 2. So altogether, we should have a number that's even one bigger. And what's after 11? Well, that's 12. Whoa, okay. So now that means I add another chip on the board. And now I have 12 altogether. And we can keep going with this. What if I had 9 plus 4? Okay. Well, if I add another chip to the board, it's like having all the chips from before, which was this number, 12. Right, 12 is 110. Let me use green. 1, 10. And two ones. Well, now we have another chip on the board because we had a 9 and 4. Well, if we had 12 before, what's after 12? Well, it's 13. Okay, and 13 is just 1, 10. And three ones. Cool. And that's our picture right there. And let's keep going. What if I add 9 plus 5? Okay, well now I add another chip on the board. Before I had 9 plus 4, that was, that's right here, right? This is 9 plus 4. Well, 9 plus 5 is going to be one more than that, this extra chip right here. So before we got 13, what's after 13? Well, 14. So when I think of 9 plus 5, I could think, what's 9 plus 4? Oh, that's 13. So 9 plus 5 should be one more, because 5 is one more than 4. If we keep going, 9, oops, wrong color, 9 plus 6. Well, that's going to be one more than 14. We get 15. And we keep going. What about 9 plus 7. Add another chip on the board, and we have 16, right? Even one more. And then we're almost done. We're going to finish at 19 here. 9 plus 8. That gives us, what's after 16? 17. And I'm trying to line this up very carefully. So it's 7 ones and 1 10. Before is 6 ones and 1 10. Then it was five ones and one ten, and four ones and one ten, 
And we're going to almost finish up here. I'm running out of room, so now I'm going to write over here. 9 plus 9. And we'll use this color, purple. Well, what's 9 plus 9? Well, if I draw my last chip on the board, I can see that it's, it's got to be one more than 17. And the next number is 18. And if you're adding these numbers, use 10 as a friendly number. What I mean is that we have 10 chips here, right? So once you know 9 plus 1 is 10, think of 9 plus 2 as, oh, 9 plus 1 gave me 10, and 1 more will give me 11. How about 9 plus 3? Well, 9 plus 1 gave me 10, which I knew right here. And then if I'm adding 3, there's 2 left over. So 9 plus 1 is 10, plus 2 is 12. For 9 plus 4, that's difficult, but I can think 9 plus 1 is 10, and then 3 more is 13. So what am I doing? I'm taking 4 and I'm breaking it up. I'm thinking of 4 as 3 plus 1. And I say, oh, 9 plus 1 is 10, and then plus 3 more is 13. I like to break up numbers like that, and we'll look at that in other videos. But here we're focusing on long addition and how to write these numbers. So I hope this helped.